Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami and today let's customize a SharePoint homepage to make it look beautiful like a website. But before we go there, the obvious question is why would you want your SharePoint to look like a website? What's wrong with SharePoint looking like SharePoint? When it comes to helping employees collaborate on files, track tasks and share documents, SharePoint out of the box design works very well. But when it comes to using SharePoint for company-wide communication and making resources easy to find, some SharePoint features are either lacking or can get in the way. Employees like those pages to be more like what they've seen on the web, kind of like this. So what will it take to create a page like this? In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to build this page with two options. Option number one, I'll build this page from scratch using SharePoint out of the box web parts. This option is available to you immediately and you can even follow me along and build this in your Microsoft 365. Option number two, I'll use origami web parts that sit on the top of SharePoint and enhance its design. Both options require no code. Let's see how far each option can take us. So starting from this blank page, the first thing I want to add is a full width banner with a bold headline. A full width banner really makes the page look like a website. Its purpose is to grab attention and inform of major announcements. To make this banner with out of the box SharePoint, I can either pick an image web part or a here web part because there are only three web parts available in the full width section. I'll use an image web part because I want the banner to have a white background without any tint or overlay. Next, let's pick an image for my banner and link the image to where I'll keep all my news articles. Now, to have it a bit more obvious that this banner is linked to other news, I'll add a button here with text letting users know that they can click on it for more news. I like how clean this banner turned out, but the downside is that it's all hard-coded. The text is part of the image and when I hover over it, it adds this shadow to my image and also I can't change the color of this button without changing the color of everything else. Now let's use origami banner and see what it can do. There are a lot of origami web parts that fit into the full width section. Let's pick this origami carousel with links web part. Right away, I can see a lot of no code customizations available to me. Let's add a new banner slide that calls employees by name right in the headline. This should make page look more personal. We'll also add a URL to my news post and an image just like before. Unlike the image web part from earlier, this origami carousel lets me make the headline font bigger and bolder to grab more attention. And I can easily change what the link button says and what it looks like. The result makes the page look much more cleaner and on brand. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two options. Next, I want to give employees quick access to the resources they use most. For example, timesheets, help desk, and other tools. With SharePoint out of the box, I can use the Quick Links web part and point each link to a URL, give it an icon, and choose how these links are arranged. The color of each button is set by the administrator for the entire site, so I can't change that. Now, let's see the option with Origami Quick Links web part. First, I can add Origami Quick Links web part to the full width section of the page, letting me use available space on the screen to show more buttons without cramming the page. In my case, I don't have that many links, so I'll add them here. I can change the text, icons, and URLs of my buttons here. Now this is new. With Origami Quick Links web part, I can change the size and colors of my links. First, I'll set the color of my links to match the banner. Then, I'll resize them to make them look tidy. 
Now, here is the fun part. How about we make these quick links float over the banner? Like this. Now our page definitely looks like a website, but there's a practical side to it. All of these important tools are within reach as you open SharePoint homepage. No need to scroll. The whole page fits together like a glove. Okay, you may say, I have so many enterprise applications, tools, and forms, I can never fit them all at the top. This is where a one-stop shop resource directory comes in, a place to find forms, templates, manuals, and links to tools. In SharePoint Out of the Box, you can use a document library web part for this. The library is not just for documents. I have links to internal and external web applications and forms here too. To keep things tidy, I limit the number of items listed here and hide a command bar. This is pretty good, but a few things are lacking here. First, I can't easily search here, so employees might need to click a lot before they find what they're looking for. Second, the library looks like a file share. It might scare people away with the text being so small. Origami Finder web part was designed to eliminate all of these drawbacks. Once I add a finder to the page, I can select my document library. This can be the exact same library we looked at earlier. The web part picks up all the folders and files we already have. The search box is a lifesaver. You can search across all folders instantly, or you can navigate folders and see where you're at. And the fun part. I can even color code my folders, add icons, and make the text look bigger. The practical side of this is that it's easier to find categories when they are color coded and the text is bigger. This can easily become one of the most used tools on your intranet. All right, let's now add something to our page that will keep employees in a loop about company-wide announcements and events. SharePoint out of the box has a brilliant web part called News. It pulls all of the news from the site automatically and has many other options. To tidy it up a bit, I'll turn off the web part title, make my news show in a list, and limit the number of posts to the top three. Let's also hide the number of views, hide the page author, and date of publication. Another great thing about this web part is that you can even target news to a particular location, department, or division, showing relevant news to employees. Honestly, this web part already does so much that the only thing I think we can improve here is to give it a bit of a modern look by rounding news post thumbnail images. I'll add an origami image rounder web part to help me do that. Now, the design looks modern and match the rest of the page. Okay, we have a place for the news. What about the events? We need a calendar here to show company-wide events, both online and in person. Also deadlines, maybe holidays and office closures. For that, we can use a SharePoint events web part. This web part is useful, but it comes with some obvious limitations. First, it can only pull events from a SharePoint site. It can't connect to a shared group calendar and show events from there. Second, this web part is not really a calendar, more like an event spotlight. It can be hard for employees to see past or future events because they can't choose the date range right from the page. The page can get really busy if the web part is set to show events for the whole year. Now, let's do the same with Origami Calendar web part. When I add it to the page, you immediately see a familiar month view. Employees can see what's coming up this month or go back and forward to see past and future events. This events can come from any SharePoint site or a shared group calendar from Outlook or Teams. I can even color code the events. But my favorite feature is RSVP. With RSVP, two things happen. First, when an employee click RSVP, the calendar will let them save the event in their Outlook 
or phone so they don't miss it. But that's not all. The calendar will also record who's registered so that organizers know how many people are coming and can prepare and communicate with them if needed. All right, we're almost there with only two more web parts remaining. The first of the last two is the people directory. People directory is a must to help employees find their colleagues. In SharePoint out of the box, you can use a simple people directory web part. When we add it to the page, it neatly organizes everyone alphabetically, showing employees' name, emails, and phone numbers. There are a few issues here that only become apparent once employees start using this tool. First, for the people directory to be useful, it must be easy to find people not just by alphabet, but also by name, department, and location. This web part doesn't offer an easy way to refine contacts by department or location. You have to know what to search for. The second issue has to do with the reliability of the information in the directory. All of the employee information shown here comes from Active Directory, a Microsoft system that manages user accounts in your company. This is great because you don't need to enter contact information manually. But there is a problem. Azure AD doesn't only keep employees. It can keep additional accounts for meeting rooms, conference lines, system accounts, inactive accounts, and share mailboxes like support or accounting. Sometimes as much as 40% of the directory is populated with these accounts. This can make out-of-the-box people directory hard to use because so much in it is irrelevant. And there is no easy option to filter these accounts out from this directory. The directory offers no options at all. Let's now do the same with origami people directory. This directory also takes contact information from AD, but offers more options. First, I can filter out system accounts. I can also group employees by location, department, or other attributes. I can also choose to show additional information on a contact card, such as the assistant's name or hide the information I don't want shown. No need to click anywhere else. Employees will no longer see relevant user accounts or incomplete profiles. You can search for a colleague by name, title, department, or many other attributes available in their profile. So that was People Directory. Now let's wrap up our homepage with the employee feedback web part. So what is it and why do I need this web part? All this feedback employees have things like, I can't find this form, this link is broken, or this event has a wrong address. These aren't really IT support requests. This should go to SharePoint site owners. If you email them to someone directly, they may get lost in their mailbox. A better solution is to capture this feedback centrally. You can collect this feedback in SharePoint out of the box using Microsoft form embedded in the page. I can make this form ask a specific question and then click collect responses and copy the path to the form from here. Now, I can add this form to my SharePoint page by using the forms web part. I'm just going to paste the path I copied from my form. Now, this form will only be useful if users provide feedback and that feedback is saved in a place relevant people can access. Apart from the issue that I can remove this Microsoft privacy statement below, which might discourage some users from giving feedback there is another issue. The issue is that all of the responses to this form will be attached only to my user account. This makes it hard for me to share feedback with others on my team. Also, if I leave organization, any response collected will be gone with my user account. I can't easily set up an alert when a new response is added or delegate that alert to another person. That's not ideal. As an alternative, 
I will show you this origami feedback web part. This web part lets you ask a single question and save responses directly in the SharePoint list. You can share responses with others. You can even set up alerts when new responses are added. You can create a new feedback form right here. And it doesn't take up much space at all. It's neat and to the point. I'm also going to make this form stand out more by changing the background shade of the page section. Perfect. So there you have it, a SharePoint homepage created with SharePoint out of the box and origami side by side. If you like what you see, check out the video description below to see how you can get origami web parts for your SharePoint. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.